Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 3 FES, or FES, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm Nintendo Man of God, aka Lord Fluffy. We're here in Tartarus, I'm spinning around in a circle, and today I'm actually joined by a co-commentator. Hi, I am Natural Lord Fluffy, aka Nintendo Man of God, aka Sherb, aka Natural Omen. How's it going, guys? Aka the god of YouTube. Are you just going to keep going like that, god? Yes, yes I am. Anyway, in the last episode, we got to Tartarus, this apparent building that only appears during the dark hour that came out of GeckoCon High. This is the first time you've came here. In the game, yes, it yeah, is. Yeah, I know. Okay. So anyway, Mitsuo and Akihiko want me, Yukari, and Junpei to go in, so... Don't worry, I won't push you too hard. You'll be just fine. No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I'm sorry, carry on. Since Yukari and Junpei have no real experience in battle, make sure you back them up. I wish I could do a good Liam O'Brien, but I can't. Eh, Yukari? So this is Tartarus! Check status. Uh, what do you have equipped? Okay, you have shit equipped. Um, I think I'll give you... <laughs> oh, right. I forgot this is New Game Plus, so I have a shit ton of items that I never sold from the previous game. And I have, look at that, 5,909,040 yen. So you're being a bit cheesy cheesy right now. Yes, I'm also level 85. I, for I didn't realize that New Game Plus did this, so I uh, went back and changed the difficulty to uh, hard mode. Anyway, we should go to Tartarus just after... Alright, let's do this! I'll just prove that I should be in charge. Okay, Junpei. Anyway, let's get into Tartarus. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yes, I am ready, Mitsudo. Good luck. No, I don't need luck. Who needs luck? I don't. Tartarus, floor one. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Oh, shut up, Yukari. You never feel good anyway. <laughs> now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right. Got it. Okay, so... Why is she always like that? I don't know. You're just because hostile she, towards her. She's a sun deer, and I do like the sun deer, so... Hey, I'm okay with that. Let's begin. Keep in mind that these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now see if you can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Ah, uh, no. I don't know what a treasure chest is, so don't talk to me about it, damn it. Anyway, so the cover's 10 SP or 50 SP, I forget. 10 SP, but yeah. Watch out! I detect a shadow in front of you. Move in and hit it before it attacks you. So yeah, to engage into battles, um, you basically have to come in contact with a shadow, and yeah, to use the X button to hit your weapon. If you can hit an enemy before it hits you, you get the advantage. But if it detects you, like it goes with an arrow over its head. Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy for you. Try using both the skill and attack on. Help. Oh god, there we go. Sorry guys, the emulator does this sometimes. Anyway, yeah, it, it, it like, like hell. Yes, try using skill and attack. Um, I don't want to do that because I'm currently OP as crap. I'm, at, I'm level 85. I may have a persona that's only at level 2, but just I just do that and I do 236 damage and I win. You're so overpowered right now. Dang. Yeah, so um, once it becomes available, I'm going to sell all this shit and only buy... Um, I'm going to go back and give myself only weak weapons to try and more balance it out, but either way, I'm just retardedly OP right now. 
Damn. There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? A staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. Yeah, you can only go in for a short little session in Tartarus today. Yes, there's another shadow, blah, 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 blah. What she was going to say there is if it hits you before you can attack it. Yeah, no, blah, 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 No, I don't care, Mitsuru. Basically, a shadow will come in and it'll hit you, basically, outside. If it hits you before you can attack it with your weapon, whether it be a sword, bow, or whatever, it might get the chance to get an enemy advantage where they'll go first instead of you. And that's not a good thing. No, especially at, like, when you're just entering a floor, you know, or a new section of Tartarus, right? Because then they'll have the advantage, and if they if they exploit, like, say, one of your character's weaknesses, it's just screwed. Yeah, it might be worth pointing out that I know next to nothing about this game. I, my expertise lies in Persona 4, so... I know yep. the basics of how Persona games work, but when it comes to this game, specifically, not so much. Yeah. Orpheus! Now, RG is the fire attack. Yep, I that's I know sure. that much. Like, Zio being thunder, Bufu being ice, Garu being wind. Yeah, there's there's six types of elemental attacks. Um, Mudo, which is darkness, Hama, which is light, Garu, wind, Agi, fire, Zio, what... Lightning and Bufu is ice. He just explained four of them. And then in this particular game, there's actually three type of uh, physical attacks: slash, pierce, and strike. Ah, I think there are multiple types in Persona 4. I can't quite remember what they all are. No, there, there's only um one type of physical attack. It's just physical. Oh. Yeah, okay then. That's why I don't know what they are. Yeah, because there is only the one. It's, it's very rare that you run into an We're enemy uh, weak to a um, physical attack, but when that happens, exploit it because it costs yeah. nothing to exploit, and you know it's they just simple. They are ridiculously shit. rare. Although, is it the same on this game where physical-based persona moves you drain your H HP, not your SP? Yes, is they drain right? your HP. HP. H. 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 Stop being British. Stop being Canadian. Fine. Let me just get my 75% British blood to take over for a second. Ah. Good fluffy. Good fluffy. Now see, here's an example of me getting a player advantage. Because, uh, never mind, apparently there's no player advantage here. Were you able to exploit the enemy's <coughs> I was about to say. If you didn't already know player advantages don't happen 100% of the time when you're behind attack. them. Yeah, they don't apparently, <coughs> which is kind of dumb. In this game though, like if you if you're able to hit them before they like detect you with the whole arrow above, or an exclamation point above their head, <coughs> that's supposed to give you a player advantage no matter how you hit them, so. I'm just gonna say I coughed a whole lot there, feel free to mute it out. Then yep. proceed with you. Yeah, we know, okay? We know it's weak to Augie, so I'm just gonna use Augie and kill these things, because I have, like, an ass ton of SP, and there's, you attack the there's, 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 there's no reason for me not to do this, except for, you know, my physical attack to <coughs> one-shot these guys. Okay. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. But yeah, as I was saying, um, like, when, you, when you're behind the opponent and you get that attack that would usually give you a play advantage, it's not a 100% advantage, whereas the opponents, if they're behind you, they always get the enemy advantage. It's like, what? Mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. You wonder if this was Igor, what Igor was talking about. After a battle, you will occasionally have the opportunity to select a card from the ones shuffled before your eyes. If you pick a card with a persona on it, then you will receive that persona. There are other cards, each of which has a unique effect or reward. Keep an eye on the card you want and try to pick it. So this is similar to the Persona 4 shuffle, but... You know, it doesn't keep going, it eventually stops the shuffle, so to activate it again, you just press X and blah blah blah. Oh, and the okay. persona, and the persona pixie I want is just right there, I was able to keep my eye on it. But yeah. So they, they are, they're the same personas that you get in Persona 4 then, like they're all the same uh, summons that you can get? Uh, yeah, they're mostly the same, there are some differences, for example, so, uh... I recognized pixie, uh, straight away. Yeah, for example, uh, Taki Mikazuchi is, um... A persona that you can get, but it looks nothing like the one from Persona 4. Shh, 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 we're not spoiling stuff. Stop. Okay, feel free to mute me out there. I will. I detect a shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she was just going to explain here that if you have, like, a, pers a status ailment or your you guys are low on health, 
Uh, don't even bother, just heal them or whatever. Okay, so you're gonna be LPing Persona 4 in the future then? Oh, for sure. There is a better way to defeat okay. all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? Uh, no, because I can explain it. The all-out attack that is, um, shadow. blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah, blah. All-out attack is if you manage to, uh, down every single enemy, which I'll just show you here in case if it, uh, leaves one of the enemies alive. Yeah, okay. The enemy is vulnerable. So basically, I'm gonna hit, um, Aki on all these guys. And, uh, then it's gonna give me the option to do an all-out attack. In this game, when you get the option to do an all-out attack, there's almost always... Orpheus! He said Orpheus, yeah. But yeah, there's just there's no point to not do it, because it's so freaking powerful in this game. Again, you can play and get to Persona 4. In Persona 4, it actually only does uh, the damage equal to all of your characters' physical attack put together. Um, so like, if you've got four characters that do four through the regular physical attack, it will just do 160 damage. Which isn't always optimal, because some enemies obviously have the physical resistance. It's sort of the same in this game, like, the more, like, higher attack stats, attack stats here, but even still, it's as overpowered as fuck. Um, in some senses it would be Persona 4, but in some senses you just I mean, you go, see oh that? my dear god. Did you see that? <laughs> like I said, 1400. This, it's so, like, this This is partially because of, like, my, like, super league gigantic level, but it's so broken in this game. Like, wow. the dominant strategy is literally just down opponents and, like... Okay, for example, before I say that, down opponent, opponents use all-out attack, win. That's it. You have chosen yeah. Minor Arcana card, Cup Rank 1. The cup like, shines over magical that? light. The party's HP has been restored. So there oh, are is that similar to the, uh, the, the, the chance cards in Persona? Like where you get an effect by some specific thing if you get it? Yeah, it's similar to that. Okay. Yes! My skill level has increased! And I apologize for constantly referring to Persona 4, but it's all I really know to talk about. Yeah, like, I understand. I mean, like, as long as we're not, like, spoiling stuff, like... Uh, I can't, sorry. Yep. Usually there are more shadows on the prowl. Well, at least you gained some experience in battle. Let's go back to the dorm for today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can use it to return to the entrance. Since there aren't many enemies to worry about, why don't you split up and search individually? Just tell the other party members what you'd like them to do. And basically, now you can press the square button to issue orders to your allies. So you say press square, and you could say split up, and then, like, you know, they'll split up. But, like, say you want them to defeat shadows on their own, you can hit priority defeat shadows. But, no, we just want you to go ahead and find, you know, boxes and the what? access point. Yeah, in this game, you can actually have your party members split up. I found the, a I found the access point! What do you want to do? Let's go back. Okay, then. Let's go! Yep. We're now gonna leave. Yeah, in this game, in this game, your party members can split up. So, like, if you're exploring part of Tartarus, you can be like, "Whoa, we just kind of teleported." What the fuck? 